I just added Friday to my set list. This seems like it'd be a great place to work. Where am I going to get my daily dose of veiled anger and condescension? In the angry doll. The U.S. encourage other countries to abide by nuclear non-proliferation agreements. I do think of human life is expendable. It's showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Another high-profile figure of the entertainment industry is now facing allegations of sexual misconduct. Morgan Freeman. CNN has spoken to 16 people claiming that the actor has displayed a pattern of inappropriate behavior on movie sets. Eight of CNN sources claim they were personally harassed by Freeman, while the other eight say they witnessed odious behavior while working with him over the years. Yesterday, Good Morning America reported on a story about Gwyneth Paltrow and Harvey Weinstein. In an interview with Howard Stern, Gwyneth Paltrow said Brad Pitt threatened to end Harvey Weinstein after an alleged incident of harassment in a hotel room. Good Morning America, which airs on ABC, owned by Disney, aired a clip of Howard's interview with Paltrow. GMA aired a clip of Stern dropping an F-bomb. It wasn't bleeped. I really kind of stood up to him. I told my boyfriend at the time. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, who... By the way, I love him for this. I love him for this, too. You told him, hey, Harvey just did something really weird. And Harvey's moves are weird. It was weird. Yeah. It was weird. And I... And you were alone in a room with him, I was alone in a room with him. Did you have any vibe leading up to that, that he might be dangerous? Definitely not. When you tell Brad, Brad says, f*** this guy, I'm going to go over and confront him. Welcome to the White House. It is my pleasure to give you this special tour. Oh, I love this room and this mirror right here. It has special effect for my husband. When he look in mirror, it makes his hands appear larger than they really are. This is where Bill Clinton got caught doing to a woman what my husband is doing to the country. Let's continue walking. Thanks to an appeal by Sly Stallone, Donald Trump has pardoned boxer Jack Johnson. Stallone said, finally, Jack Johnson gets justice. That, or he said, forlornly, Shaq housing emits asbestos. We're not exactly sure. You know, that whole Yanny Laurel thing. I don't know, I find it a little odd, though. If Trump was going to pardon a boxer, I assumed it would be the Russian Ivan Drago for killing Apollo Creed. But maybe that's just me. Meanwhile, White House sources confirm Donald Trump canceled his meeting with Kim Jong-un because he has bone spurs. Kim Jong-un says he's worried about a coup d'etat if he does meet with Trump. Unless a coup d'etat is a French name for schnauzer stew, I think he'll be okay. The post office has announced new scratch and sniff stamps. Let's all hope and pray that the Roseanne stamp is canceled. Wyoming has approved grizzly bear hunting, so expect to see a huge increase in the number of grizzly bears registering for gun permits. In France, gardens have been invaded by giant worms from Asia that are wiping out native species. French gardeners are trying to figure out how to get rid of the worms. French chefs are trying to figure out how to season them. A plastic surgeon in Georgia is facing a number of malpractice suits for blasting music during surgery, dancing, and then posting the videos to social media. Apparently, she was trying to audition for the reality competition show, so you think you can operate. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. ABC has canceled The Chew. Or did they just spit it out? Hey, stupid TV shows. Nobody gives a f***. Kevin Federline, remember him? Is asking for an increase in his $20,000 per month child support payments from ex-wife Britney Spears. Yeah, apparently his tips have been a little low at the Cheesecake Factory. Hey, K-Fed, nobody gives a f***. And the season finale of Survivor this week was the lowest season finale in the show's history. That's because Survivor used to be a novelty show, but now all our lives are scarier than anything happening on the show. Hey, Survivor, nobody gives a f***. 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, Tuesdays and Thursdays. NSS Live.